We want to factor this polynomial completely, so we first look for the greatest common factor, which is y, and only y to the first power. So dividing a y to the first power out of each term, we're left with y cubed minus 3y squared plus 2y minus 6. Now we have four terms, so we might try grouping them. We might group the first two and the last two terms together. So if we try that, in the first two we have a y squared in common, leaving a y minus 3. In the second two we have a 2 in common, also leaving y minus 3. We can see that grouping is going to work because we have the y minus 3 in common. So that means we'd pull the y minus 3 out, and when we do we'd have a y squared left from our first term, and a plus 2 in our last term. Looking at each of these, there are two terms each, but neither one is the difference of squares, and neither one is the sum or difference of cubes. So that means our first factor is y, our second factor is y minus 3, and our third factor is y squared plus 2, none of which can be broken down any further.